welcome back to our series of lectures on constructors so so far we have we have talked about constructors that is default constructor we have also seen here a constructor with no arguments so this is known as a no argument constructor now let us assign some or let us use some arguments to the constructor so passing arguments i will pass it like this say int l int b okay so these are two values integer values that are being passed to the constructor okay so l i will assign it to i'll initialize length to l and breadth to b see it is very much similar like this set length here i'm setting the length here i'm initializing uh, length and breadth to the arguments that is being passed out here in l and int b okay so l is assigned to length b is assigned to breadth now suppose i try to run this again let me save and then let me execute this so you see there is a error what this error says is that constructor rectangle in class rectangle cannot be applied to given type so here i have created the object using no argument constructor i have tried to call the no argument constructor but what does it say it says required int int that means i have to pass two integers what was found what was required was i required two integers what was found no arguments no arguments were found so what was the reason for the error actual and formal argument lists differ in length okay same for the rectangle r2 also so let us go back and re uh, refine refine our uh, our constructor so here the error occurred in this statement and in this statement why because the constructor is expecting two integers so i have to give two integers here let me give 10 and 2 for r1 and for r2 let me give 12 and 4 okay so what are these these are called the actual arguments i have already discussed while discussing methods and these two here are your formal arguments so two integers number of arguments two two and types are integer integer here also i am giving two both are integers okay so now let us save and run and see let's save this let us go back and run the program so no errors now let us run it so now you can see first rectangle 10 and 2 area is 20 second rectangle is 12 and 4 area is 48 so we have we have created a constructor which takes arguments now here i'm giving two arguments you can give one argument also you can say of both the length and the breadth you are going to make it same okay so you can give as many argu arguments as you want now obviously it will not be more than the number of arguments that you are passing or more than the number of data members that you have okay since i have two data members i will pass two arguments maximum i can have less than that i can have zero we already saw the rectangle with zero rectangle okay this was what we had length let me assign length is 1 breadth is also 1 okay so now this constructor does not take any argument so this is a no arguments constructor this takes two arguments and these are, these are known as parameterize constructor this is known as a parameterized constructor okay so because it takes in parameters i can also write another constructor like this
you can give l also you can give b also it's all the same so here what i'm doing is length is assigned the value of well breadth is assigned the value well okay so this is also a parameterized constructor it takes parameters all right now if you see if this rectangle if this constructor is called then both length and breadth will have one value one and one if this is called then you will whatever values are being passed here and here they will be assigned to length and breadth the first one will go to length the second one will go to breadth in the third case what i write here whatever value is being sent only one value will be sent that value will assign will be assigned to both length and breadth same value now you notice here in the same class i have written three constructors can all these remain together the answer is yes all three constructors can remain in the same class so what it means a class can have multiple constructors in that case how will these constructors be used so let's test it out let's come back to our class class rectangle construct so i'll just remove all these set methods okay it's just disturbing it okay so i have a rectangle here so i'm calling i'm creating an object r1 and i am using what the no argument constructor so i am not using any arguments then let me create another object rectangle r2 is new rectangle let me give 10 one argument okay and rectangle r3 is new rectangle so i will give two values let me give uh, say 12 and 4 okay so i have three i have three objects r1 r2 r3 for creating each of these i am using different constructors because in my class i have three different constructors okay let's see how to how i will carry up uh, compute the area so uh, i'll just remove this i don't need this already i have declared r2 so okay then again i have okay compute area r2 compute area then area 3 is r3 dot compute area so three of three uh, rectangles and i'm using the compute calling the compute area for all three of this area r3 okay same way i will also print i will also print the output for the third for the third rectangle so i'll just modify this here r3 r3 and this is r3 so what i have done again just a quick recap in my class rectangle i have created one no argument constructor where both length and breadth i am assigning the default value 1 a parameterized constructor taking two arguments first is going to length and the second is going to breadth and the third one third constructor taking one value and the same value is assigned to both length and breadth so when i call the or create objects i am explicit im, implicitly i am calling the constructor constructor remember you cannot call explicitly like here you are calling the method uh, compute area using the object you cannot call the constructor uh, explicitly so it is called implicitly when the object is created so here i have created r1 object using the no argument constructor 
So, the value of length and breadth for R1 should be both equal to 1. For the second rectangle, I am using the constructor with single argument. So, both length and breadth would be now 10. And for the third rectangle, I am call I am uh, creating this object using the third constructor that is using two arguments. So, I have the length will be 12 and breadth will be 4. So, let us run this and see again now. Save. Execute. Compile. Execute. So, you can see here for rectangle 1, length is 1, breadth is 1 and area is 1. Rectangle 2, length is 10, breadth is 10, area is 100. And for rectangle 3, length is 12, breadth is 4, and area is 48. So, this is your, this is how you can use constructors to initialize your uh, data members of a class. So, uh, before we end, one quick, very quick recap. What is a constructor? A constructor is something which will uh, initialize the data members of a class at the time of creation of the object. Okay? When you do not write any constructor, the default constructor is added by the Java virtual machine, by the Java environment and then uh, this initializes the data members to the default value of their respective data types. When you write constructors, you may write a constructor with no arguments or you may write constructors having arguments. Re uh, the constructors using arguments are known as parameterized constructors and the one without, construct uh, without any arguments are known as no argument constructor. So, that is all about constructors for now. There is one more type of constructor which is known as a copy constructor, but we will discuss about copy constructors later on in the course.